G'day guys, our next guest is Russ Norton. Comes from the UK, now lives in Australia, and he is the man who knows all about managed metadata, taxonomies, folksonomies, and all about document management. So with that, I welcome Russ Norton. I was working for Combined Knowledge, SharePoint training company. Yeah. I was then with them for about four or five years, and then uh, I've come over here to set up the Australian branch of Three Grow, SharePoint yeah. training company again, uh, who have currently been established in New Zealand only. So we're kind of branching out into Australia. Uh, I might start with tagging in SharePoint 2010. Yep, it's come a long way since 2007. Absolutely, yeah. I and mean, there was uh, there was no real uh, method of tagging as such, as far as uh, that flexibility is concerned. That you now get in 2010. The only way to really attach properties to an item was by having metadata columns. Right. Uh, which meant that you were limited to either kind of free text uh, with a kind of a string of multiple terms or multi-value choices, but either way there's still some kind of limitations. Right. One of the main issues you had with 2007 is there was no ability to have nested terms. So for example, choosing uh, a country and then depending on the country you chose, only then being able to choose regions from that country. Right. There's no way of linking them together unless you use code or info path. That's right. Um, the three methods of tagging that we have available in 2010 are first of all what we call social tagging. The idea behind social tagging is that it essentially is a series of terms or keywords that link the user to, uh, let's say, a document or a list item. Now, these terms uh, are, pre uh, are defined by the user on the fly, so uh, they, they can just tag something with whatever terms they see fit, uh, whatever you know, terms associate themselves with that particular document. The benefit of these terms is that they're then uh, visible through the user's my site. So these, these terms then build a tag cloud so that the uh, other users can uh, you know, browse the documents that that user has tagged with whatever terms. Right. All right, what's our next choice? Next choice is uh, what we call enterprise keywords. So within any particular list or library, what we can do is uh, enable uh, the enterprise keywords option. And what that allows you to do is actually attach properties um, to the document. Uh, in a specifically created column called Enterprise Keyword. The final option, that's the good one, this is uh, uh, the Manage Metadata. So with the options that we've looked at so far, uh, Enterprise Keywords is generally what we refer to as folksonomy, which means that um, it's kind of free text, if you like, allows people to just tag it with whatever terms they see fit, and it's very, very flexible. Manage Metadata is, is yeah, this is more of a taxonomy, and the idea behind this is we have a series of term sets within the term store, same place the enterprise keywords is stored, which allows you to use this kind of hierarchical structure, which are then fed into a column within the site columns gallery. Um, and then those columns are then attached to the list or library or content type. Right. And then the benefit of this is that it's very much a, a structured uh, approach. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is limit them to only allow them to tag items with the terms within this particular term set within the column that's used. Looking at reports on SharePoint, mm -hmm. um, analytics, I assume you're familiar with the Nintex tool? Yes, uh, I mean there's certain analytics that you can access through the SharePoint uh, browser as a site owner or a site collection administrator. You can access certain analytical information such as which are the most popular pages, uh, who are the most active users within is your this site. Is an Nintex product? Uh, this is out of the box right, through, okay. uh, through the site settings and, yep. um, or site collection administration. The Nintex uh, reporting tool uh, Nintex Reporting 2008, which was designed for SharePoint 2007, or Nintex Analytics 2010, allow you to take that to the next level and build dashboards uh, representing right. uh, the relevant information. You can drill down into more detail uh, and kind of various different summaries and, and things like that. So there's a lot more, a lot more right. to it. Okay, awesome. Well, that's been uh, we've got a lot of information quite quickly. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Russ. No problem Cheers. at all. Thanks all for having right. me.